I find my wife super hot when she wears my sweatpants. It is what it is. I just, I'm like, damn, that looks good. Hey there, Coach Devin here. I want to talk about something that I've been thinking about a lot recently. Uh, and it actually was spurred by a conversation with my wife. And my wife made a comment about a revenge body. And, uh, and I didn't know what a revenge body was. <laughs> I'll be honest, I had never heard the term revenge body before. And she said, you know, revenge body. And I was like, what is, what is a revenge body? And she said a revenge body is when, you know, after you break up with somebody, you get really fit because you're like, here, screw you, look at me, I look great. And, uh, and I, I was like, I, I don't, okay, I, I understand the concept of a revenge body, but uh, I've never done that. And she's like, you never, and I'm like, no, I, listen, I work out all the time, I like exercise, I don't really change a lot of stuff. I've never, you know, felt the need to have a revenge body. Uh, but it did get me thinking about a few things. And what it really got me thinking about is how I, I get lots of clients that will come to me after a breakup, uh, male and female, this is not picking on any one, one group of people, it's male and female. And they're like, you know what, I was in a relationship, the relationship has come to an end, uh, I need to get in shape, I wanna I want get fit. And I guess that's their thing, right? They're, they're getting a revenge body, uh, which I didn't, I didn't know that was the term. But it, what has struck me on that, and I've been doing this for a lot of years, uh, this is, I'm, I'm a ways into this thing, right? I'm 28 years into being a trainer. I've owned a gym for 11 years, I've seen people do this quite often. Uh, and I, I personally, I don't have any issues with it. I think any time that you are choosing to get more fit, that's a win. Like to me anyway, that's a win. And you, you choose to get more fit if you're doing it because you want to be like, screw you to your ex and you know, look at me, I look great now. That's okay too. Like whatever your reasons are, your why to get fit, I think that's okay. I think it's good actually. Like whatever your why is, I mean, if your why is altruistic, I want to, you know, be there for my children and whatever, that's great. If you're as simple as I want to have abs and look good, that's a good why too. There, to me, there's, there's no real difference between them. I, I think they're both great. What I find interesting though is, and this is what I want to talk about now, people who get in a relationship and then give up. And we've all seen them, known them, or we have become them. Uh, where people, you know, they get in a relationship and it goes from, you know, I'm trying to impress you and I'm, you know, put on makeup or I'm dressing nicely or the guys are shaving and, you know, whatever. Uh, the guys are working out and then they get in the relationship, whether it's a serious relationship, marriage, whatever, and then they, they pretty much just shut that shit down. And they're like, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm in a relationship now. I actually met a guy one time, a long time ago, and uh, I was, I was, this is like six years ago, I was single. And, uh, and we were talking, we were at a thing with, uh, with our kids. And he said to me, um, you know, you, you own a gym. I said, yeah, I own, I own 360 Fit in, in Dartmouth. And, uh, and he said, yeah, it's, uh, I used to work out a lot. I was like, oh, that's great, awesome. I mean, I hear that a lot from guys. I used to work out a lot. You get a lot of that when, like, when, you're, when you're my age and you're fit. Uh, you hear that a lot from people. They're like, ah, oh, back in the day, I used to be so stronger than you ever will be. Hear that a lot. And I'm, I always go, oh, that's great. Okay, sounds good. Like, eh, whatever. And he said, well, but fortunately, I don't have to do that anymore. I'm married. And, you know, that has always stuck with me. Because to me, it is an absolute sign of disrespect for your spouse. Absolutely. If you're... And I'm not talking everybody. Let's be clear. Before the haters jump out and say, Devin, you're saying this or that. And that. No, no, no. I'm not saying that, hey, I gained five pounds because I'm you know, in a relationship and I'm busy and I have kids or whatever. I get all that. Sometimes you get injured and you're off work for a while or you're off the ability to work out or maybe you've had some stress in your life or you've had a sick spouse or parent or whatever. Like There's a million reasons to stop exercise and many many of them are very good legitimate real reasons they happen and i'm on board with anything like that i had a staph infection in my back uh in 2020 and almost died couldn't work out for like seven weeks it sucked i felt like shit i looked pretty bad and uh you know but that's a that's a real thing and lots of people have those real things you, you suddenly work is busy you have to travel a ton or whatever it happens to be yeah those things happen i'm on board where I have a problem is like this gentleman said to me, which was, you know, hey, I don't have to work anymore. I'm married now. All right. Here's my personal thoughts on it. And this is 100% my personal thoughts. You can disagree. And if you disagree, 
let me know down below in the comments. I, I'd love to hear from you. I get in a relationship with somebody, okay? So say you start a relationship with somebody and I am I look the way I look. My feeling is that's the bare minimum because they bought the product, they opted into the product based on what it is right now. So when I met my wife, I was pretty fit. I was running a lot, I was about 215 pounds or so, I was pretty lean. Uh, I'm now like 233, 234. I'm almost as lean, I'm just bigger now. I'm, no, I'm not in worse shape. Uh, I can't run as fast as I used to because I'm heavier, but you know what, I don't, I'm not in worse shape than I was before. I have consistently worked out the entire time. And because that, for me, it is a, it's a sign of disrespect. It'd be incredibly disrespectful to my wife to say, okay, now, like, my, like the guy I met said, it, it, is to say, okay, now I'm in a relationship. Whew, all right, that's all done. I'm gonna get fat. I'm not gonna shave. Uh, I'm not gonna, get, well, not that I can say anything because I haven't shaved a lot, but she, she does like the beard, so <laughs> there is a reason for that. Uh, and I, you know, when I had COVID, I thought, well, I'll let it grow a little bit, see how it looks, because I'd never really done it before. Uh, but, you know, to me, it's a sign of disrespect if you just don't care enough that the person bought in and this, right? You started dating this, and then I'm like, nah, screw it, it's over now. I'm stopping, I don't give a damn. I'm gonna wear dirty sweatpants at home, not gonna have showers, I'm gonna get out of shape, because who cares, you're stuck with me now. Okay, here's the thing I can tell you. Nobody's stuck with anybody. I've been divorced. <laughs> no one is stuck with anyone. You can move on. You can meet somebody else. People get divorced all the time. About 50% of marriages end in divorce. What, what are you doing? Why would you give up? And why would you be so disrespectful to your spouse? Because if you care about them and you care about yourself, really it's a sign of disrespect for you too, that you're willing to put in time, effort, and work to meet somebody because you want to show them, hey, I'm healthy, I'm fit, I'm whatever and then you just completely give up once you get them, it's like false advertising. It's like, it's 100% false advertising. You're saying, this is who I am, but that's a lie. You are lying to your new spouse because really you're this guy over here or you're this girl over here that's like, I'm not, screw it. Now, before anybody else gets mad, uh, you want to wear sweatpants at home, that's cool. Lots of people do. Sometimes I wear sweatpants, it's okay. Well, I, Let's be clear, I wear track pants to work, so it is what it is. I think my wife looks super hot when she wears my track pants. When she wears my sweatpants, I don't know why, I find it really hot. I don't know, it, it is what it is. I find my wife super hot when she wears track pants. I find my wife super hot when she wears my sweatpants. It is what it is. I just, I'm like, damn, that looks good. I don't know why. Now, if she was wearing dirty, slobby sweatpants and, you know, just had no makeup on at all, not that she wears very much makeup, but, you know, no makeup and just didn't give a damn and she put on 35 or 40 pounds, I'm not saying I still probably wouldn't care about her, but I would say you have really just let yourself go. Now, and to be clear, my wife hasn't done that, but I think anybody who's doing that, male or female, it's, a, it's just a rampant act of disrespect to your spouse care enough about yourself and your own health and the fact that you have presented yourself as this, that you actually are that person. If you're going to be somebody who goes, I'm going to gain 30 pounds, just gain the 30 pounds. Do it. Not, I mean, it's not a good idea to do it in reality. It's a terrible idea to do it because it'll make you unhealthy. But show the person who you really are. Don't just give up later. I think it's a bad idea. And I'm not just talking weight gain. Some people gain weight, some people stop washing. I have an old client of mine, and I'm not kidding when I say this. She started dating a guy, once they were in a serious relationship, he, only, he started only having a shower like twice a week. Who has a shower twice a week? That's disgusting. She's like, he'd, he'd wear the same underwear for three days in a row. What in the freaking world is wrong with you? Who, who's doing that? But he did. And that is just a sign of I'm giving up, just like the guy I met who said, I don't have to work out anymore, I'm married. What in the world are we doing that we are falsely advertising who we are to a potential spouse, hooking them, and then saying, all right, I'm done now. To me, when you boil it down, it's lack of respect for yourself, it's lack of respect for your spouse, 
you're lying. Why are you doing it? Just be honest. If you don't want to be someone that washes, don't wash. You're going to have a hard time meeting people, to be fair. But you know what? If, they, if that's your thing, that's your thing. But don't lie about it. And this is, a, when it comes for my job with health and fitness, it's a thing. Like the revenge body thing, people are trying to get back fit. Okay, I, I'm on board with that. Anytime you want to get fit is a good time. But to let yourself go purposefully because you're too lazy, like that guy in the park that I had. You know, he just, I'm not doing it because I don't have to because I'm married and she's stuck with me. Come on, man. Come on. You're, be better than that. Care about your spouse. Care about yourself respectfully. Take care of yourself. You don't have to walk around with abs. No one does. I like to walk around with abs. Does that mean everybody should? Nope. That's the thing I like to do. I consider that important for me. I own a gym. I work in a gym. That's, that's how I am. But you don't have to be that guy. And you don't have to be that girl. But be healthy. Take care of yourself. It, whoever you are beforehand, be that person later. Don't, don't give up like that dude in the park. Don't give up and stop washing. That's gross. And it is, it's just downright false advertising. You know, we can do better. We all can do better than that. And you know what? This time, right now, we've got Omicron. We've got COVID. People are really not exercising. Exercise for yourself. Exercise for yourself so you're healthy and you are going to live a long time and you feel good. It'll make you a better person. It'll make you a happier person. Just do that. And do it for your spouse too because you know what? They deserve it. They've put up with you for a long time. They deserve to have a relationship with somebody who was as advertised, not the new person that you have spun in there. You have comments, questions, and I'm sure there'll be some. Message me down below. Write them up in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Have yourself an amazing day, everybody. Stay fit and don't fight the awesome.